The Miami Dolphins were eliminated from the NFL's postseason tournament after losing to the Buffalo Bills on Wild Card Weekend. Now, they'll have an opportunity to get an early start on their off-season plans, while there have already been changes made to their coaching staff, General Manager Chris Greer and Head Coach Mike McDaniel also have some work to do with their roster. 31 players from their 2022 roster are set to hit the free agent market at the start of the new league year, but Miami would probably be smart to avoid re-signing these four. Mike Gesicki, Miami franchised Gesicki last offseason, hoping to see him take a step as a blocker in McDaniel's system. Instead, the Penn State product had one of his worst statistical seasons and was being passed up by Durham Smythe for snaps. His $10.9 million cap hit in 2022 will likely be around what he gets this offseason, and that's better off spent somewhere else, Greg Little. Due to injuries, Little was asked to play 50% of the offensive snaps in 2022, and it wasn't pretty. It didn't matter if it was on the left or right side, he was poor at both spots. Pro Football Focus had his play graded at 34.6 on the season and a dismal 29.9 in pass protection, it wouldn't be hard to upgrade their tackle depth. Teddy Bridgewater, instead of opting for a backup quarterback with a skill set similar to Tua Tagovailoas, the Dolphins signed the experienced veteran in 2022. Between injuries and poor performances, Bridgewater didn't live up to the expectations that came with his $10 million backup contract. The goal this offseason should be finding a backup who can fit the scheme, Miles Gaskin. Gaskin was passed on the depth chart this year when Raheem Mostert and Chase Edmonds were signed. Then, when Edmonds was sent out and Jeff Wilson Jr. was acquired, he was still the third or fourth back. He can provide decent depth for any team, including Miami, but the Dolphins would probably be smart to try and find another young back to fill that role.